You're right guys, it's Capgun Tom back for another episode of Road to Recovery and as always the first thing we're going to do when we log onto the account is go and check the trade pile and depressingly we sold nothing, which is <laughs> kind of a bit of a bad thing to see but I drop the prices a little bit and shove them back up on the market hopefully to sell something. Uh, anyway, we're going to go and buy our first player and the player we'll be buying is uh, the upgraded Sherla, uh, as you can see there. Um, and then we go and whack him into the team and now the reason I bought him was he was cheap, number one. Um, number two, he's very, very fast, 89 pace. And number three, um, I didn't realise this when I was actually buying him, but when I went and looked at him, he's got like 92 finishing, which is absolutely sick. I mean, we com your pace combined with great finishing is going to be devastating for a lot of people. Um, anyway, we go into our first game and we come up against this guy who's using uh, like Premier League team with weird people put in. I was assuming that he was going to substitute them out and uh, put someone else on, um, but he didn't which was even weirder. Anyway, uh, this was an absolute rout. I mean, uh, they see Sherla getting his debut goal for the club and uh, don't think that's the last because there are loads of them. Uh, you can see him going through again a couple of minutes later and you see that dink. That's so hard to pull off, I find, with almost any other player. But um, Sherla seems to have it down. I mean, outside the boot, dinking it past the keeper into the uh, far left corner, which is a sick, sick goal. Um, anyway, he actually came back and uh, managed to score, which was really, really odd considering how bad he was. Um, that's a bit mean, but still, he was terrible. Um, anyway, he gets his goal back, so that makes 2-1 to us. And then, uh, you know, I wasn't going to stand for that. So uh, we get another goal here. Uh, Kagawa getting his first to the club. Um, pretty simple goal. Him moving his defender well out of position. Not really know what he's doing. Um, we then get another goal um, through Naldo this time. Naldo uh, using his head and uh, as I thought, I said in the last episode that we would see a lot of goals from headers from him and it seems to be coming through um, because that's probably his third goal, second, third goal for the club already. I think all from his head as well. <laughs> but anyway, Sherla goes through here in the second half to score another one for us and uh, you can just imagine there's so many more goals in this game still to come so uh, don't, don't think it's over. Um, you can see here Hunt, our left mid, uh, skilling past the goalkeeper to put it in for an easy tap in, and that's pretty sick. Uh, sick celebrations, or is it the sweaty, sweaty that, um, acrobatics? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, he didn't really know how to defend, which made it very, very easy for me to do quite nice skill runs like this one, which wasn't finished nicely, but did go in anyway. <laughs> After flying high into the air and then dropping back in. Um, some good work from there, Sherla again. And uh, you can see there, Naldo winning the ball for us. And uh, Sherla just using his pace, his defender going the wrong way. In fact, I don't think he was even playing uh, for this one. I think he might have put his controller down in there. Disgust at uh, what was happening to his team. Um, Sherla getting another one. And Hunt here, just, you know, needlessly skilling in open space. But then uh, actually doing some quite nice work here to go past two players and then the third and finally putting in with his right foot past the goalie so that was a pretty nice goal and uh, we can move on to the next goal I know not over yet um, I think there's still two more to come uh, we have our right back here doing some skills to go past him um, then he passes it over the top for Sherla who happily just dinks it again over the keeper and into the net and uh, pretty much compounding his misery at this point and it wasn't over because Kagawa still wanted to get his second goal. Um, some nice skill moves here to uh, go past him and uh, smashes that home. So um, a devastating result. I think that's the most goals we've scored in any game <laughs> in any game on road to recovery. So uh, pretty nice, pretty nice scoreline there of 11-1. Would have been nicer if we didn't concede one, but you know. And uh, you'll actually see that not all the goal names, all the people who scored, um, actually fit onto the screen because Sherla got two at the start, and uh, he's only got one at the start on that list. So uh, you know, Sherla getting a 9.8 rating, and uh, that was pretty, pretty beast play to be honest from him. Um, we now go off and buy our second uh, player of this episode and uh, that is Farfan, uh, he plays right mid and he's from Peru so um, it's quite um, looking forward to using him, uh, my friend uh, Robbo suggested him to me and obviously EA trolled us by sending it to the trade pile instead of sending it to me to be able to put into the squad straight away but anyway we do get we do get him in there eventually with uh, by switching him around with a couple of other players and uh, our chemistry is actually starting to go up quite nicely now. I mean, we're up to 77 at the moment. And if we switch in uh, our new player, 
we go up to 84, so that's pretty beast. So we're actually getting somewhere with the chemistry, our team's looking stronger by the day. And we come up against this next guy um, after obviously going and getting an injury card for Kagawa. Um, we come against this uh, Arud Division team, I think that's how you say it, I have to learn how to say the Arud Division uh, team. Uh, with a silver in each row, I thought he was going to sub them out, but again he didn't. Um, but we start off the scoring again through Scherler. Um, scoring a weird like bicycle sidekick thing, I don't know what it was. But um, a goal nonetheless from the corner after the goalkeeper pams it back out. And that's probably the worst piece of defending I've ever seen. Uh, this defender just nowhere near it. And Scherler there to pounce on the open open opportunity and finishes well again. Like I said, great finishing. Uh, we then get a penalty. He just completely snapped us in the box. There was no need for that from him. And uh, yeah, we make him pay. Obviously, we're going to put Scherler on it. <coughs> We want to keep his goal ratio high. I mean, at the moment, it's probably sitting about um, five goals to every game, which is pretty beast for a, a striker, um, for, for any player, let alone a striker. Um, so, yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, we then get one more through Scherler, a few mistakes from him, and a very, very good finish from Scherler again, straight into the top left-hand corner of the net. So that was a pretty beast win for us, 4-0, and... Uh, yeah, I wasn't I wasn't displeased with the uh, performance. How could I be? Um, and what we do now is we go straight into the next game because I was in a rush to get all these games done. And uh, we come up against this Barclays Premier League team. Very surprised to see Czech Tiote playing centre attacking mid. Um, I think his team was uh, sort of like an underrated team. But we get a very nice goal here. A very crucial goal. We were struggling to score from Fox going through a few skill moves to uh, get him through on goal and he finishes well and don't think that Scherler goes game without scoring because again um, after the laggy uh, bit he actually scores another goal into the top right corner finishing is awesome I won't lie <laughs> so we win that 2-0 um, obviously a clean sweep on the old uh, wins front in this episode and um, I know that I promised you guys uh, like a trading technique uh, a couple of days ago and I haven't put it up yet I will be putting that up tomorrow and you can see some of the players that I bought uh, in this episode um, here in my trade pile um, hopefully gonna sell them hopefully gonna make at least a thousand profit on most players obviously not on this guy but most players I was hoping to um, and it was just it's just a technique involving silvers finding them for cheap and selling them off for more so um, I will put that up tomorrow and there is another trading technique that I found out as well so I will check I will make a video of that as well probably sometime in the coming week maybe a week's time I'm not sure we'll see anyway guys I hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a like if you have and uh, subscribe if you haven't already for more of these episodes and I will see you all next time